poor and weak at the margins of healthcare and society at large. I'm Sherman Bryce Pease in New York. The Zambian government has taken possession of four million US dollar cash found in a house of a young female media personality in Lusaka, suspected to be proceeds of crime. The money was recovered in an operation conducted last month after a tip off from members of the public. Arthur Davis Scopo reports from Lusaka. It has now created more questions than answers, and Zambians are demanding for answers. The four million United States dollars stashed at division number. 4 lot 11279-M of New Kasama in Lusaka, property belonging to a young lady, a media personality, Margaret Chesela Musonda, or popularly known as Faith Musonda, is talk of the day in Zambia after the state took possession of it and the house. The monies were suspected to be proceeds of crime under the former administration of the Patriotic Front under Edgar Chagualungu as president. Police in Lusaka had an operation in which they recovered 65,330,000 kwacha suspected to have been stolen or unlawfully obtained. A further search was conducted and the team discovered a safe containing 57,350 US dollars. The current administration of Haga Indejilema and the Rented Party Financial Development claims there was massive corruption in the past administration and have since promised to recover all plundered natural resources to benefit Zambians. Joint government investigation wings that include the Anti-Corruption Commission, Police, Drug Enforcement Commission and the Financial Intelligence Center got possession of the cash found in Ms. Musonda's house after over one month of investigation into the matter. The investigative wing's spokesperson, Jonathan Siame, has revealed Ms. Musonda revealed the source of the money found in a house and was willing to hand it over to the state, including the house. They said four million was found in, which she has done. According to the investigative wings, under the law, Section 80 of the Anti-Corruption Commission, Act Number 3 of 22, allows the state to grant amnesty to an accused person in certain instances on condition that they admit wrongdoing and return what they wrongfully acquired through corrupt practices. Kelvin Chisanga, a communication specialist from Lusaka, will come to repossession of the cash and the house, saying taking the legal route would have taken long and more resources would have been spent. It's actually a very good uh, thing for now because obviously we, we are considering uh, factors of depreciations along the, 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 the case issues. It's a welcome move, um, you know, considering that it is a case that maybe has prudently uh, shown that uh, uh, there could be a lot of loss in, in the way that um, if you were to deploy a legal uh, uh, face, it could also uh, maybe bring about other issues. But I understand from the perspective that uh, uh, it is not something that maybe we end from here. But some Zambians are not happy with this. Cleopas Perry of the People's Initiative Charter is disappointed that Ms. Mosonda did not face the full length of the law and calls for reformation of the Anti-Corruption Commission, especially the laws that are being used to recover the resources. And Bremna Changala, a human rights defender, says it is annoying knowing that the source of the money is still hidden and the ending has been dramatic and shocking to Zambians. If we had broken that lead to find the source of that money, it was going to open a Pandora box to know who else was keeping that kind of cash. But the ending has been very dramatic, shocking and extremely annoying to the Zambian people. And the Zambian people, the owners of the money, have been excluded in this transaction. What is surprising, the fight against corruption is the new dawn mantra that you cannot do that when you are leaving the public out of the equation. When you leave the public and start doing deals behind the scenes, that money she has surrendered. There is much more where that money came from. Demands are now being made. I, as citizen of the Republic of Zambia, President Changara, do demand that the full disclosure is made to the people of Zambia through a government chief spokesperson or indeed through the Republican president, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema, himself. Further demand is coming from Joseph Banda, a concerned Zambian citizen. Uh, since the 
the recovery has been made and the public has been informed about it, uh, we expect again to be informed on how the money is going to be used and where it's going to go because that money is not in the budget and it cannot be put in the budget. It will just confuse the budget. So we need to know as the as the members of the public. Reporting for SABC's Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I am Arthur Davis, Scopo. SABC News, independent and impartial. From an African perspective.